Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. The other day I had a teacher email me wondering how her students could share videos and pictures from their iPads with her without using a public forum like YouTube or Flickr. And my suggestion was to use the Google Drive app. So I'm going to show you how you could do that. I'm going to open the Google Drive app here on my iPad. And I'm already signed into my account. And now in the upper right corner, I'm just going to click the plus symbol and I'm going to select upload photos or videos. And from my camera roll, I'll now select the video to upload. Now to check on the progress of that upload, I'm just going to tap on the little upload icon on the left hand side here and we can see that my video is still processing on my iPad. All right, and now that my video is uploaded, to share it, I'm just going to tap on the little eye icon on the right-hand side here. And if I wanted to, I could preview the video just by tapping on it and playing it, but I just want to share it now. I'm going to go ahead and tap the share button. And now I can enter the email addresses of the people that I want to share this video with privately. So um, I'll add Max to this list and I'll allow Max to only view that video. So Max will now receive uh, a notification in his Google Drive account that I've shared this video with him and he'll be able to play it within his Google Drive account, again, without it being public on the web for anyone else to see. And now we'll go and we'll take a look at what that looks like in a Google Drive account on the web. All right, so here we are in my Google Drive account in my web browser. We can see that's the video I just uploaded. If I go ahead and click on it, we could preview it and play it. And let's go ahead and open it now. And when we open it, you'll notice that I have uh, the option to share it again. And we can just hover over the share button and we can see it shared uh, with one person. If we wanted to open that, we can see who it's shared with. And we can see that I can download the video file as well and save that on my web browser. And down here, if I want to prevent viewers from downloading, I can do that. So now the people who I've shared this video with cannot download it and won't be able to upload it anywhere else because they won't have a copy of it. So that's how you and your students can privately share videos. And this will also work for pictures from your iPad to your Google Drive account.